For your tree branch drawing, you'll need your pencil and an eraser, and you're going to put this at the very bottom of your deciduous tree page. Begin by drawing it in lightly. Start with a bigger branch, and then have about three smaller branches coming off that big branch. As trees grow, the branches taper. That means they go from thick to thin. And all of them do, from the bigger areas to the very smallest little tips of the branches. They will taper and go from thick to thin. Concentrate on adding things in a random sort of way so that it looks natural because as we've talked about, nature is random. And you're just gonna start with the branches and then we'll put the leaves in in just a minute. After you finish drawing in the branches, add some value to the bark. So here I'm just using the side of my pencil again and working with the texture of the paper. Then I'm going to turn the paper and add some rounded contour lines. And those will indicate the roundness of the branch. And it will also make a shadow underneath. Resolve the drawing of the branch before you start the leaves. So get that all finished first. To make the leaves, I'll start by just running the side of my pencil over the paper, picking up the texture of the paper. This would be the background for the groups of leaves. Notice how I'm trying to have some areas that are open so that it looks like light is shining through, sunlight shining through. I don't want to make a really dense sort of shape. So, Avoid doing this, where you just have like this really continuous shape with no light shining through. As I'm making these lighter marks, I'm just trying to think about getting a good variety. So I'm moving my pencil around in different directions, adding some smaller little bits around the edges. And then finally I'll go in with the tip of the pencil and start adding some leaves. I'm drawing the leaves so that they're shaped like little almonds and then filling them in. And I won't have them everywhere. There'll be some areas where I really just want the soft shading from the background to show and areas where I won't have any, and then areas where I will put a lot so that they're dense. Sit back and look at your drawing occasionally and just see what you think, how it looks, areas where maybe you need to have some more interest. Here I'm drawing in a couple of little dead branches. So I'll finish this drawing and have a photo of it on canvas for you so you can see how it looks when it's done.